Hello, Greybeard here. We're gonna try out some uh, hand muffs, or whatever you wanna call them, handlebar muffs, and uh, see if they help keep my hands warm. They even fit on there with the handle, hand guards on there too. So yeah, I'll show you uh, get the uh, tripod here. And uh, I gotta get my little uh, bolt, screw, whatever you wanna call it. Get you on the uh, doohickey here. And we'll show you me putting the other one on. It's, it's a lot more simple than I thought it would be. See, all it has is this Velcro strip, and I was like, how's it gonna hold on? Well, it holds on around that. Let me find the other one over here. Let's see if you're seeing what I'm trying to show you. Get you a little closer. It's a lot smaller. This, you know, on the camera, it looks further away than it actually is. Yeah, there we go. So basically, all you do is slip it on with the uh, Velcro side showing up. See, looking at them on the uh, internet when I was researching it, trying to find the best thing for the best deal, slip it on over your brake lever, and you get this little uh, Velcro strip and uh, pull it up. The other one came right up over it. <laughs> of course, when I turn the camera on, that means you got to fumble. If I can get it up in there. Let me, uh, let me do something here. I'm going to turn them this way. See if you still can see what I'm trying to lay down here. Yeah, you get it up around, you know, between the hand guard and the doohickey there. And basically, get, get it to where you can get a hold of this strip up around the bracket that I uh, mounted the uh, hand guards with. There we go. And you want it to cover everything. And the biggest obstacle is the, uh, the inside of the uh, hand guard where it curves in. And you just gotta kinda, oh, we're not around the hand break. There we go. And then you gotta clear the hand guard. Once you clear the hand guard, Becomes a little easier to get it to strap. The other one was a lot easier. <laughs> See. There we go. We're, we're, we're making progress now. Let me get this to clear around here. It's not going to work like the other one did. Because the camera's on. Somebody's back me upstairs. Stepson lives above the garage. There we go. And then once you get that in there like that, you just secure it by Velcroing it. And then it's in place. Set my hands a little better. So this is the sleeves of these. This jack. There we go. Yeah. You still get to the handbrake and all your buttons. Yep. Got your high and low and your turn signal and your horn. Starter button over here. And your kill switch. But yeah. We got that set. I'm thinking that'll keep a lot of the wind off of me. And I will be wearing my gloves too. And, uh, yeah. I was afraid it would hinder me from being able to operate things. 
But uh, yeah, it's working pretty good. I mean, it's not as free as if you didn't have them there, but they don't uh, hinder you too much. It's not like I'm on a ninja or something uh, trying to go 100 mile an hour or anything. <laughs> but, like I say, I'll get over the hill and uh, let you see what they look like. I might need to adjust this one a little more. See, I got this one to go way up over here. This one ain't quite done that yet, but I'll adjust that. There we go. There we go. Might tighten them up a little bit. But yeah, that's what she looks like. Cuts out all the wind. So the wind can't get to my hands. And uh, they should stay warm. It is a few degrees warmer right now. It's in the mid 40s. But uh, like last time I told you, it was like 42 when we started our last ride. When I got, tried out the hand guards. And uh, oh, my hands were still freezing when I got home. So the hand guards didn't really help nothing. But I think these uh, will shut out the wind. And like I say, I'll still have my hand guard, my hand, my gloves on. And uh, yeah, I thought these would help. They're leather. But where they got all these seams right here, I'm thinking that's what's letting air in to chill my fingers off. But uh, these are gonna stop that. They better. <laughs> but anyways, we'll uh, row over the hill and then I'll turn the camera back on and we'll show the ride, all righty? All righty, we're out here. Uh, <laughs> ready to hit the road and over the hill. I just don't film the, the hill because <laughs> it's boring watching me <laughs> lumber over it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, let's get this on. Let me flip my shield up again so I can fix the camera. Yeah, these gloves are the most hindering part about this uh, dressing up for the uh, cold weather part. And before we get started, don't forget to like this video if you did. And if you didn't, lie to me. <laughs> I don't mind, as long as you like it. And, uh... If you haven't, subscribe. And hit the bell for all the notifications. And... Share the crap out of it. you're upright can see what I'm trying to show you yeah these uh, muffs aren't too bad like I say the gloves are the most hindering part about it if I had, didn't have these gloves on I could do everything a lot easier I was having that problem before the the handlebar muffs were put on or mittens or whatever you want to call them but yeah good thing is uh, coming over the hill like I say with the hand guards and before I could feel my fingers getting cold before I even got over the hill uh, with these uh, mittens or muffs on I ain't feeling it at all see I think they're doing their job <coughs> yeah my hands might be a little warm if anything if nothing else I went to adjust my mirror <laughs> I, I, was, I was fixing to start heading over the hill I went to adjust my mirror and it was loose and I know what I did I noticed uh, after I got done with my ride on the uh, checking out the uh, hand guards and uh, went to adjust my mirror and the whole daggone thing was loose from where it mounts to the uh, for the whole the riser and everything I guess where I went to readjust that uh hand guard it was sticking out a little further than the other one so I adjusted it in I don't remember uh, well yeah I guess I had to loosen the uh, riser <laughs> but I thought I had uh, torqued it down and evidently I didn't I mean it was snug it just wasn't tight tight you know torqued 
you don't want to move the mirror and the whole stem was moving and I, I was noticing the phone holder <laughs> with the phone in it was moving <clears throat> gotta try to hold my breathing Trying to keep my shield from uh, fogging up. They gone. There was like one car, and I looked the other way, and there's a whole train of them. I'm gunning it. Woohoo! Yeah, I know when I have this cracked a little bit, you can hear a lot of wind noise on the microphone, so I try to keep it shut, but. When you're just sitting there, you gotta open it up or it just fogs up. Yeah, getting to the turn signals is a little bit of a hassle, but you know, nothing you can't deal with. And like I say, if it weren't for these gloves, that might be a little easier. Yeah, uh, like I say, it started out in a, it was about 46 when I went to take off. I don't know what it is now, but I'm thinking it's a little cooler, especially right here, going along this creek. It's always cooler here. The sun don't shine much, and the heck, it's been overcast all day anyway, so there wasn't no chance for nothing to warm up over here. That's why this road, like I say, in the wintertime, if, if there's, you know, icy conditions anywhere, there's definitely going to be some on this road. But, uh, yeah, uh, we're supposed to have winter conditions starting tonight and possibly snow all day tomorrow. And that's why, if you can tell, it's a little brighter. <laughs> I took off a little earlier. I tried to take off a lot earlier, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Things don't always go as you plan, you know. <clears throat> but anyways... Yeah, it's probably, you know, ticking down as we're riding. Uh, the other day, like I said, when it started out at 42, by the time I got home, it was uh, like 30. Of course, it was already dark by then. That's the last ride I took when you could see the moon in front of us heading home. Woohoo! I love the lean. <laughs> You don't really realize how far over you're leaning when you're going around curves sometimes. I was noticing it then. It's quite a lean. <laughs> and it felt planted. Of course, it wasn't going that fast. But yeah, so far, the hands are good. If anything, you're going numb <laughs> from all the coverage. I'm just glad they're not freezing. Yeah, and you got to do the throttle a different way uh, with these on. You got to kind of roll it a little bit and inch your hand around it and roll it some more. Because you can't, you know, twist your hand as much with these uh, muffs on and these big gloves on. Like I say, it's probably mostly the gloves more than it is the muffs or mitts, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, they, they seem to be doing their job quite well. Maybe I should have not worried about the hand guards and just got these, you know. Hindsight's 2020. But yeah, uh, I was going to try to get some nice ones. And I got to look and some of the cheaper ones look just like the ones that they're trying to charge like 40 some dollars for. I mean, they can go higher than that. But I'm too cheap to go any higher than that. In fact, I was actually too cheap to go that high. Uh, I ended up uh, getting the cheapest ones I could find but you know I was trying to hit that turn signal and couldn't get to it with these freaking thick gloves I thought about just wearing my little gloves that I wear when it's just a little chilly they're kind of like just little work gloves or something they're snug fitting and everything a lot more maneuverable in them 
but I figured just to not chance it, I better wear my heavy ones and keep my hands warm. But uh, yeah, uh, trying to get my train of thought back. <laughs> yeah, these uh, hand must work pretty good so far. California stop. Well, hopefully this video will show out a little better since it's a little earlier in the day and has somewhat a little more light. I guess they're building something else there. I see a bunch of brick. That building there, Crow and Company, Orthodontics. So yeah, it's, it's finished on the outside. I don't know about the inside. Yeah, this is right near the, the business district. I guess that's what they call it, where all the factories and stuff are. Plus, the days are getting a little bit longer. I'm going to turn in here for a sec. There's a car coming up behind me. I like to uh, not try to slow them down too much. Yeah, I'm looking heavily right now for the next ride that will hit this channel, like I say. Uh, there's one I really, really want. But, uh... Uh... I'm thinking I might ought to go a little more practical. I wish you could see inside these mitts what my hands are doing. <laughs> the way I'm trying to roll on this uh, throttle. Because I can only get just like a little bit and then I have to inch it and inch it until I get it. You know, uh, if you ride a 50cc scooter, you pretty much run full throttle just about the whole way. Because top end is not faster than you can handle. <laughs> just about anywhere. <clears throat> I mean, I kind of hold it back a little bit you know from throttle and full way when I'm in little city streets when it when it's you know 25 and below but out here on the open road this is as open as it gets for this little scooter I love the mountain I wish it showed up more realistic in the uh GoPro footage. <clears throat> Pull over a second. Got a truck barreling down my neck. <clears throat> I do believe we're going <clears> to <throat> do the carb swap pretty soon though <coughs> every time I do that cough it steams up the whole shield but moving down the road it unfogs real quick too I can see where the sun is wish these clouds would break up and give me a little more light video shows up a lot clearer when you got plenty of sunlight when it's overcast like this, uh, it uploads a little glitchy. But yeah, technically the sun is just about right in front of us. You can see that bright spot up there. That's the sun trying to peek through the cloud. Just and the clouds are closing in on it. Forty-five. I wish this thing would do forty-five. Especially uphill. Let's get her downhill. This did 38 last time. Well, not the last time, but time before last. There's 38. 39. And it's holding 39. Huh? Didn't do that before I put this belt on here. 
That's cool. Like I say before I put the belt on, this thing wouldn't do no more than 37 down that hill. So evidently that belt helped a little bit. And like I said, last time, hitting that little exit off of 460 that we're fixing to hit, uh, kept getting cars behind me, so I had to pull over and let them go around. <coughs> Hopefully, it won't be as congested this time. Uh, I always go on a Saturday. It's a Saturday. I'll, I'll, you'll see the video late tonight if you ain't seen it Sunday or later. But, uh, yeah, uh, usually that's why I ride Saturday is because there's hardly as much traffic on the road. And I always go to the Bluefield, Virginia side because it's less uh, congested as uh, the Bluefield side. I don't see anybody right yet. I got her wide open. <laughs> now we do have somebody coming up behind. They're a little ways though, so I'm just gonna keep on rolling. I wanna see this top end, dang it. Got a, a wind against us though. If I can get a hold of it button here yeah we got too much wind against us yeah we ain't gonna see 44 You guys are probably hearing that wind too. We're heading right into it. Yeah, these roads also need paved around here. Ain't nothing but cracks. I don't know if it shows up on the footage. I think the next ride, I'm gonna try to find my little uh, pieces that come in my GoPro kit. It's not an actual GoPro brand, it's a little kit I bought on Amazon and right about the time I first started this channel and it's got just about everything in it. I can't remember how many pieces was in it. It's something like 200 pieces or something like that. It's got all kinds of little elbows, this, that and the other that lock in that you can attach it to the top of your helmet. And uh, I was looking at this one video the way this guy had his on his chin. I said, I got that. I saw them little pieces. And uh, I'm going to put them together and fix me a little mount on the chin of this helmet. Try that next video, I believe. Next ride video. Next video might be me uh, pulling the carburetor off and putting that new one on. With the little uh, tiny cone filter. Hopefully that'll uh, open up a, a pony or a half a pony. And I got an exhaust, but I'm trying to hold off on the exhaust. It's not really like a, it's it's forty some dollar exhaust. <laughs> it's not expensive. What do they call him uh, Hiroshi or whatever exhaust? It costs three, four, five hundred dollars or more. I can't see spending that much on an exhaust. It can't bring that much daggone power to be worthy of that price. But they're getting it. People are buying them. I'm not saying they're not good exhaust. I'm just saying, good Lord, why should it cost, you know, three, four hundred dollars for a daggone exhaust that goes on a little scooter? It shouldn't cost a freaking, you know, twenty percent of what the daggone scooter costs. 
just about the most uh, simple thing about a bike. Well, I guess I can slow down since it's 25 now. Of course, these people way behind me are probably going to catch up now. People around here tend not to slow down to the 25 until way up there. Yeah, my hands are not getting cold at all. Yeah, by now I'd be feeling it a little bit, you know. I'm creeping up 32 mile an hour already. Without even trying, this thing's got so much power. I'm hoping you can see that thing. I, like last time I took off, I noticed it was uh, facing a little funny. The uh, phone holder. I was afraid you couldn't see it, but then when I viewed the footage, yeah, you can see it good. It just looks awkward to me. You slow it down. Yeah, my hand's going a little numb from uh, the way I'm holding the throttle. <laughs> but they're warm. They're not freezing. That's the main thing. That was my big deal. I wanted to find out if these things that do their job and they're doing it well. I think. Uh, let's go this way. I was thinking about going straight and just going through, but I'm just going to go around. Gives you a little more scenery. This is a cute little neighborhood. I'm getting better at operating inside these things. Just got to get used to it. The only bad thing about this neighborhood, there's a, <coughs> a creek running along there. And sometimes it tends to flood. Same creep goes along this road I'm talking about that we uh, go down every ride. I see a tree went down. The others are holding him up. Don't go yet, brother. That's a little vending company right there. Takes care of the like the break room vending machines around the area. I'm hoping you're not hearing the wind noise as bad as I am. I got my shield shut and everything. It seems to do good when I have my shield shut. I'm thinking I hear more of it than the mic does. I miss riding them mini bikes through here like I used to. I really do. I'd ride them if I could. And I probably could, but I'm scared to death get get caught riding dirty. And I don't get caught riding dirty. <laughs> Tell you right. Oh, fancy. <laughs> oh, fancy. I was about to gun her and I don't want to get hit by this big old Cadillac. It's like they wait trying to let me out. I'm not, you got the right away, buddy. You go. And my face shield's fogging up. Of course, if I didn't flap my jaws so much. Somebody got a bug problem. They called ortho. Yep, 
Yeah, my thumb. <laughs> and like between my thumb and my index finger, that's where it's going numb on the throttle hand. <coughs> Well, at least we don't have that whistly sound like in the last video. I was checking for that coming up over the hill. The one thing that I didn't do up around my neck is I didn't wear that daggone, you know, little hood or whatever you want to call that thing. It goes over your face, mask thingy. I didn't put that on. But the last time I, I zipped my jacket up all the way and, uh, I thought maybe that little Velcro thing on the neck was what was catching that wind and causing a whistle. I hope nothing shows up on the mic because I could hear it last time and you could hear it on the mic. This time I can't hear it, so hopefully you don't hear it on the mic. But yeah, these, uh, if you ever doubted, uh, little handlebar muffs, they work. These are the cheapest ones I could get a hold of, and they work. <laughs> they do their job. Uh-oh. I think I used to be able to hold 24 going up this hill. I'm at 22, 21. Come on, buddy, get around me. Seriously, dude. Dang. Yeah, uh, this is the original filter to this, uh, air filter to this, uh, scooter, but, uh, I got 483.5 kilometers on here, which probably translates right to around 400 miles, maybe less. No kilometers it's probably less than 400 miles and uh when i checked that uh when i changed out the drive belt i checked the uh filter then and it's clean as a whistle i guess i could well now i was thinking i was going to show you me going over the hill but uh it's a struggle where this side here is so daggone steep. Gonna have to get a little more oomph behind this thing. Maybe that car will do it. Yeah, this thing gets down to around <laughs> six mile an hour by the time I get to the top. Yeah, I don't know how well that shows up on your uh, screen there, but uh, <laughs> that's probably a 60 degree or steeper uh, slope there. Yeah, let my thumb uh, wake back up. I can still operate it, but boy, a sucker's numb. Well, yeah, I like these muffs. So the verdict on them is they do their job quite well. And uh, if you was ever leery of getting any, like I was saying just a minute ago, I never finished it. <laughs> I get easily sidetracked. But uh, yeah. Uh, I'll show you a little bit better view of them. See, you can see that lining in them and everything. And uh, I would say the big biggest thing is just make sure it snugs up around the front here. And uh, yeah, you should be set. They're they're fully lined and everything. Got plenty of room to move your hands around there. Like I say, I'm thinking these hold me up more than anything else. But uh. Don't forget to like the video if you did like it. And if you didn't, lie to me. No, I don't care. Lie to me. <laughs> like the video anyway, even if you didn't like it. But uh, leave a comment and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, hit the bell for all the notifications and uh, share the crap out of it. <laughs>